guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back on Diana and Kudinova. Um, a lot of people have been saying get her back on the channel and a lot of people have requested Can't Help Falling In Love. I imagine this is the one that I think UB40 did, I'm not sure. Uh, it would be interesting to see what Diana's take on this is because I think UB40 were a like reggae type band, weren't they? Um, I mean a couple of songs that I've listened to, not really listened to UB40 myself, but I know they were a reggae type band. Um, but I do recognise the title, Can't Help Falling In Love. I'm sure somebody on the channel did say it was UB40 who did this song. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what Diana's version of this is like because we all know what a great vocalist she is. Anyway, before we jump into this reaction, if you do actually like my videos, then please consider to like and subscribe. It supports me, it supports the channel, and I appreciate it very, very much. Don't forget to leave the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. And now this link to this... this, this um, Video will be in the description down below, so in, just in case you want to check it out for yourself. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight to this. Can't help falling in love, Diana and Cudit over. Let's go. Same song. Only fools rush I've missed having her on the channel. You know, her voice is so unique, and I forgot how just just how deep it, she can go with it, which is amazing. Um, obviously, I've never tried to break this song down before because, like you before, she was a song that I'd never, um, as, as a band that I don't listen to, never never listen to basically. But I just heard a couple of songs, um, and obviously, saying no, wise men say fools don't rush in, but you can't help falling in love with you. It was basically saying you can't you can't control what your heart says. You know what I mean? No matter what your head's saying, that's basically what I think the message of the song is. It's like um, it's like guilty pleasure, if you like. Damn straight, damn straight. You're like, <laughs> she is an amazing vocalist. That is why she is pulling that face, that judge. Um, I prefer this version to the original already because you know it's it, there's so much tension within this this version. This, the other one was a bouncy beat, but this is a this is so much tension, so much drama without being super like climatic. It's really, really good and really, in, it's, it's engrossing. Wow. 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 
This just turned into a film style score. It's the, the drama intensified and it intensified. Then she went high, then she went low, and the whole thing has just freaking exploded. I am loving the the effects, the lighting effects, like electric and stuff around the thing, and then like that ball of water, whatever it is behind her, looks really, really cool. And it also adds to the effect of the drama in the song, as does when they turned the fans on and made it look like something epic was about to happen. Well, something was epic was about to happen. The fact that the, the, she stepped, Diana stepped her voice up and made this into a fucking dramatic song. And then judges, you know, they're impressed. And they should be impressed. And what's what's um, what's different about it is the fact that she only sang the "Can't Help Falling in Love" part of that song instead of the other. You still engrossed for that three minutes that she was singing it because she's put so much emphasis on on a voice, how so much drama coming from it, oozing drama. In you know, it, it was just dramatic, proper proper dramatic version of that song. Even though they didn't, she didn't elaborate any further than "I Can't Help Falling in Love with You," etc. But the judges were blown away, all of them, hands on the head, hands there, you know, and quite rightly so, because she absolutely nailed this, no matter what octave or what um, vocal range she was singing in, every single part of it was unique, it was different, it was brilliant, and, you know, I've missed having Diana on the channel, and I'll have to get some more on, so you guys need to tell me where to go from here and what versions of what songs I should do from Diana in the future. Whoa! It's been a while. Anyway, uh, if you like my videos, then please hit like and subscribe. If you want to support me on Patreon or any of the social medias, then the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. I shall see you all on the next one.